Pastor Benny here at Little Wing Ministry Studios and just coming tonight, amen, and just keeping our covenant in, amen, and letting you know that we're here tonight, and I'm just going to do this one song, and we're just going to start, amen, and we're just going to praise the Lord for who He is and what He's already done in our lives, and I know we're going through some strange times right now. But we just got to stay focused. So again, this is Pastor Benny here at Little Wings Ministry Studio. And we're just going to be sharing the Word of God tonight to encourage you a few minutes. Amen. But let us get right into this. Come on, Natasha. Amen. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. 
circumstances that are going around, we know that we have someone that gives us peace, joy, and happiness, even in the midst of trouble. Amen? Amen, yes. And I hate you, uh, uh, well, I got good news and, and sad news. It's not bad because I know where my brother went to, but I want to share tonight also that, uh, I guess I'll share that, uh, Danny Bonilla, uh, that we were praying for on Sunday, uh, who had caught the coronavirus and also had a major stroke. On, and we were sharing here, and uh, I have asked all of you guys out there that are out there to pray along with us as we prayed for him and his wife. And I know his wife, uh, as, as I got the information, was also with the coronavirus, and, and Danny had caught a stroke at the same time and wound up in the hospital. And uh, I got the news on Saturday night, I, and we prayed on Sunday, and uh, as we were praying, let God's will always be done in our lives. But Amen. he was such a great man of God, and it's uh, sad to know, for those that might not know already know, or know him, Danny Bonilla uh, passed away on Monday, I believe, or that Sunday night, I'm not sure what day, but he's not here with us physically, but we know that he impacted my life, he impacted a lot of uh, people in New York and all er, everywhere he went, those that, that had a great opportunity of meeting him and listening, uh, uh, him sharing about the love and, uh, and the compassion and, uh, and the generosity that he had and, and also the love that he had for Christ and all the years that he's ministered the gospel to so many and brought so many to the Lord. So we send our condolences uh, to them out there. Amen. Amen. And uh, we grieve along with them. Amen. Yes. 
Yes, amen. But we know that he's in a better place. Amen? Yes. He's at rest right now. Also, too, I want to share that our full gospel tabernacle, amen, uh, 61 years, amen, uh, anniversary service this weekend. I know with the coronavirus in Far Rockway, amen. 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 That we celebrate with them that, uh, I thank God for them and uh, as they're part of us, amen, and that they're celebrating their 61-year anniversary service at Full yes. Gospel Tabernacle in New York and Far Rockaway. I, sh I give a shout out also to Dave Baroni. I was listening to some of his songs. He brought me back a lot of good memories and as he's uh, ministering still and music, and I just thank God for him. Give amen. him a shout out. Amen. Yes. But I want to come tonight also, I've been sharing about the Spirit, and we must walk in the Spirit, and, and, and also to put on the full armor of God at all times. Amen? Yeah, yes. Do uh, we have anybody yet? Uh, no. Okay. Anyway, let me get started. Uh, we must see ourselves as, as, as Christ sees us, or what, what Christ came down. Amen? We must see ourselves that way. Amen? Yes. Because we are more than conquerors. The Bible says that if we have the Holy Spirit, now I'm always talking about the Spirit lately, amen, that we have the power, amen, of the Holy Spirit that dwells within me. Amen? Yes. And within you, my brother, my sister. But we got to see ourselves as Jesus sees us. That's, and people got to see us that way. Amen? Because amen. if we're walking, we don't belong to it. Uh, to ourselves anymore. We belong to him because we surrendered. We gave our hearts to the Lord and we were born again. And we got to always remember that to renew our minds and to and not forget the calling that he has in our lives. Amen. I was just talking with a good friend of mine that called me. I haven't heard from him in a while. And a little, uh, he got a call tonight. Amen. Uh, uh, Pastor Dave Mack. Amen. Who did the outreach. He used to do the outreach out here. Uh, for the homeless, amen, and, and he did a lot of great things, still doing it, so I give a shout out to him also, but it reminds me that, you know what, what we did in the past, you know, uh, God got a calling in our lives, but what we did yesterday and today's a new day, we want to get more, amen, and I'm amen, always yes. talking about God wants to put more in our lives, amen, he wants to give you more, and, and as we can define that as a new thing, I'm always sharing, but the main thing is that you know what? What he gives us, we're to give out, amen, to encourage and to build up the kingdom of God. Amen? amen That's yes. still our main purpose, to win souls, especially all these that are dying. What is it, 226,000, 500 and something have passed away with this coronavirus. All the negativity that's in the air, the enemy raising his ugly head and all these demonic spirits are coming out of the woodworks. But we got to remember to stand and believe and see ourselves as Jesus. Amen. As see, see Jesus, I'm sorry, in, in ourselves. Amen. And remind ourselves that uh, all the miracles that he's done in our lives in the past are still, and, and he wants to do more. And never forget that we're not alone. Amen. Yes. That we don't get to fight against flesh and blood. Amen. But we fight against spiritual principalities. Amen. Things in the air, things that are happening spiritually. So we must walk in the spirit and never lose step on our calling. Amen. Yes. Because my brothers and sisters, not only me, you're out there too. God has called you for the same purpose. To share the gospel. Amen. To share the love of God. Amen. And that's something that I've always said. The word to me has always been love. To share the truth and to walk in truth and integrity and to walk in Amen. forgiveness. Amen. But again, seeing Jesus in ourselves, we got to remind us ourselves and not get too comfortable in our walk with the Lord through the years. Amen. Yes. And taking him for granted. And we even stopped doing the things that we were so excited. I was sharing last Sunday that our first love, going back to that first love that we wanted to tell everybody. We were so excited about uh, 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 Jesus coming into our hearts and transforming our lives and renewing our soul, our spirit, our body, everything about us. And you know what? I want to stay in that realm. The Bible says, never lack zeal. That's something that I never want to lose. But how do you keep doing that, my brother? Again, seeing yourself 
Seeing Jesus, rather, in, in, in yourself. Amen. And that's what I see. Amen. Because I don't want to fail him. I don't, you know, he came and died on the cross for us and saved us. And remember where you was at. And remember where you're at today. Amen. Because of him coming down from Amen. heaven. Because of the love of our Father. But when we can see Jesus in ourselves, you can start seeing Jesus also in others. Amen? Yes. And in Christ. And you are, uh, remember that we are what? Redeemed and set free from the old things. Amen? Because we're made new again. And you know that. Amen? But I just want to en enlighten that. And how do we stay and how do we stay focused on that? How do we, when we first got that little mustard seed inside of us, is to grow. I'm, I'm always sharing. And to share it with others. Amen. And to plant seed and to water seeds of those individuals that we come in contact with. Amen. Amen. And I said, you know what? My steps are ordered by God. Your steps are ordered by God. Those that have a true intimate relationship with the Father. Yes. Amen. Yes. And the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yes. Uh, John chapter 14, verse 23. John chapter 14, verse 23 says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves him, hold on, let me, yeah, yes, right. Uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves him, me, he will what? Keep my word. Amen? And my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abound with him. They come into it. Amen. You have your, your Bibles? Amen. Yes. So again, John 14, verse 23. Can you read it? Amen. Jesus, Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Mm -hmm. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Come what? And make our home what? With them. Amen. That means He's inside of us. Remember, I was sharing on Sunday that this is the temple. We remember that through the Scripture, that this is the temple, and He that dwells within us. Amen. Amen. To me, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those three elements, which is the Trinity. Amen. Not me, myself, and I, Spirit, but Him that is in me. Amen. Yes. Then we can become one with the Father. That means simply we got to walk in truth. We got to share the truth. We got to walk the truth. Amen. Not only speaking the truth, but we got to have the truth inside of us. Amen. I keep bringing that up because you know what? We tend sometimes to get too much into the flesh, and we got to learn to remember. That he that is in us is greater than anything in this world and also greater than us. Amen. Amen yes. Because that couldn't do nothing without the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll be short tonight because I want to share more of this on Sunday. Amen. But also, most people are waiting uh, either to die uh, and to go to the Father's house, and they are missing out on the benefits of living in His house right now. Amen. We think some people, not all. Amen. Think that, you know what, when I get to heaven, amen. No, heaven is here right now. We're ushering the presence of God into this place, into this vessel. But I got to do my part. That means I got to meditate on the word. I got to put on the full armor of God. Remind myself that I don't belong to me. I belong to him. Amen. And I'm to walk the path that he's given me. And as I do that, he promises what? To give us all the desires, all the things that... That we need, amen, in our lives, amen. That yeah. to me is the greatest gift is what? Peace, man. Who's not searching for peace and joy, amen, amen. and happiness, amen. I tell you, the day I got saved to today has made me the, the, the happiest person in the world. Yes, I have my lows. Yes, I have my downs. But I'm still happy, amen. Amen, yes. I'm happy, 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 like my friend would say. <laughs> Amen. I'm just happy, happy, happy. Amen. Jesus uh, and the Father are alive in us. Just knowing that, you know, that should get you excited. Amen. Amen. Knowing that the Father are, and, and Jesus are alive in us. Therefore, we are in our Father's house right now. Amen. He that is in us. He, what did he say in that verse? That they both come what? 
Come on, say that again, verse, uh, the, the, the last uh, 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 words on that verse. Amen. Hold on. He says what? He says, My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Amen. Listen to that word. It says, make our home what? With, with them. With them, or with him, or with me, or with you. Amen. Yes. And come on and make them home with us. Amen. Yes, amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Just knowing that, that keeps me going. You know, we can preach so many things and say so many things about the Bible, and it's good not to say nothing, but just knowing that alone, that they dwell within us. Amen? Yes. That we're not alone. You're not alone, my sister or my brother. He's still with you no matter what pain we're going through, no matter what situation that seem, uh, remember that nothing's bigger than God. Amen? And we know that we're here for a destiny, amen, for a time, brother, yes. amen. But our destiny's already been secured by accepting Christ in our, in our hearts, amen, and having him, what, Lord and Savior over our lives, amen? Yes. Uh, Jesus, again, and the Father are alive in us. Say that to yourself. Come on, let's say it here. Jesus, yes. what? Jesus is alive in us. Amen. And just knowing that, man, that they, he dwells within us. Amen. Yes. Uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9 says, For, for in him dwellingness all the what? Fullness of what? God head and what? You have it, Natasha? Amen. For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. Amen. Here in mind it says, but he's what? The Godhead. Amen. The Godhead. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and, and I think of that all the time. I said, you know what? I examine myself like I tell everybody. Examine yourself every morning you get up. Just thank God, you know. Uh, uh, worship him just because of who he is. But yes. remember that to me it's like every day I think of him. And I think of, uh, you know, uh, what he's done in my life and how he sustained me. How can I not serve him? Amen. Yeah, yeah. He, he never failed me. You know what I'm saying? Even though I went through bad times, he gave me strength to overcome all the hurdles that have been thrown at me. You know what I'm saying? All the demonic things that try to keep you down. All the negative things. Let me put it that way. That try to keep you down. Try to take your joy. Try to Amen. take away your peace. That's within us. That's what the enemy comes to do. See, he can't, can't do nothing else but try to get your mindset on the things of this world and remember, and not remember, rather, who you are and who Christ is in you. And especially that, these scriptures. Amen. You know, the Word. The Word keeps me alive. The Word keep, uh, keeps my spirit flowing. The zeal that's within me continue to move forward in the things of God. Amen. You know, and you know that in the New Testament it states approximately 140 times that we are in Christ. Starting what? Seeing yourself again as you are in Jesus. Seeing yourself. Amen. He walks with me. He talks with me. He talks through me. Amen. You know what I mean? He talks through us. Amen. Because, you know, he always gives us what to say at the right time to those individuals that he puts in our path. Amen. Yes. And I'm excited about that all the time. You see, it's like the more you dig in, the more you spend time with the Lord, the more you uh, 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 continue to walk day after day. But you got to do it every day, my brothers and Amen. sisters. Yes. Regardless of how many years you've been saved. I've been saved a long time. Amen. And I've been walking with Jesus a long time. And I'm still going to keep walking with Jesus until the day this body dies or he comes. Amen. That's a fact. Amen. That we all face. But why should we not bring heaven down right now? Because if we have Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we should be living a life of joy, of peace, and of happiness. Regardless of what's thrown at us. Because we're all going to suffer. Amen. The Bible says, you're going to go through stuff. Amen. But how do you handle it? That, see, that's the question. How are you going to surrender to the circumstance? 
Are you, so, uh, are you going to uh, 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 walk in boldness and in power and in authority as the Bible says that he's given us power and authority over all things on this earth? Yes. Amen. Amen. But it has to start within us first. And we got to always remember, before we can speak the truth of I'm always saying to anyone, we got to live the truth within us. Amen. Yes, we got to have the truth in us. And to me, that and, and, and also is walking in integrity. Amen. You know, not that we're all perfect. We know the only one I know that was perfect that was human, amen, was Jesus. But we're all striving, amen, because see, he that is in us is greater than anything, amen, as we say that, amen. Think about that for a second. If he's great and I have great, that means that you have greatness within you. Amen. My sister, my brother, and I do. And we got to always remind ourselves that with that. And, and that's why the word is always saying, if you define it, is renewing your mind constantly of who God is in you. Amen. Yes. Who God is in us. Amen. And uh, I just want to say that uh, we know that Jesus paid the, the price. We didn't have to pay it. You know, uh, Jesus paid the price for us. And has uh, and has all the spiritual blessings that He's given to who? to us. Amen. I don't forget that. Amen. So how can I not serve Him? How can I not be true to God if He's been true to me? Amen. If someone's true, true to you. Amen. And is loyal to you. That's what we. That's the simple words. We need to be loyal to Him. Amen. Amen. And walk in the truth. See, we can share. And put up a front to anyone, but we can't to God. Because God already knows what's in our hearts, what's in our minds. Amen. Yes. And that's why we must walk under the shadows of the winds. Amen. As the Bible says. Amen. That he is a mighty God. I hope I'm helping someone. Amen. If you are, send me a text there, a comment that we can get it. Uh, we had someone on the laptop. They can show me who's there. And if you're watching me, please... Just send your name or send a comment. Say hallelujah or anything. Or if you need prayer, just say it right now. We'll pray for you. Amen. Nan Martinez. God bless you. Nan Martinez. Nan Martina. Amen. And you know what? I, I say this sincerely. That, uh, we got to see ourselves that Christ is in us. And it's greater than anything in this world. So we have those things in us. And the Bible says, as we read, that he comes and dwells within us. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And as we read in John 14, verse 23, we got to remind ourselves every day. That's why I said examine yourself every day. You know, I try to be practical and share what I do. I put verses on my refrigerator door, and I tell people to put it. Amen. When it says I'm blessed because, I, you know, I get to know God better and better in my life. Amen. I'm blessed because I walk with him. And I put these scriptures on my refrigerator because I've learned to, as soon as I wake up, where do we go after we wash up a little bit, go to the refrigerator. And I, and to me, spiritually, I think about it. Amen. In the natural, and I say, well, if I got to feed this body, this flesh, I, before I do that, I want to feed a scripture or something into my spirit. So when I go to the refrigerator, the scripture's there, and I say the scripture, and you know what? I see, you know, these, these things I do to what? To renew my mind constantly. Amen. Amen. And I say these things because I'm telling you, I'm not just sharing this because I mean, you don't know what I've been through, but I'm standing here as a living testimony of what God has done in my life. Amen. And sharing through all the years that I've been ministering the Word of God, whether it's music or through whatever God has given me, I'm going to lift up the banner. Amen. Of salvation, of love, and share the good news with all that, that I meet constantly. Amen. Again, Amen. whether you recognize it or not, we are uh, 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 God's possession. Amen. Yes. Because we become his property. But remember, if we are sons and daughters, we, we come into that inheritance, as the Bible says. So, uh, again, he gave us what? Dominion over all things. Where? Amen. On this earth. Amen. The thing is, we got to learn and practice and never forget. Not practice. we got to act on what God's yes. word says to do. Amen. It's to bind and to loose. Amen. And I've learned to bind and to loose. 
And every obstacle that's coming, I just walk over it. If I can't walk over it, I go around it, I go this way. Because my steps are still ordered by Christ. Amen. Amen. Not about the things of this world. Amen. Amen. Because that's having an intimate relationship. A real intimate relationship. A love uh, that, 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 that abounds over the earth. Amen. And, and to the heavens. Amen. And again, uh, God, is all, uh, God is always interested in his people. Amen. And how do we know that? As we read through the scriptures. Amen. And we find out God's interest also in his people that become that because of that we get the glory. Amen. Amen. Glory. The glory that comes along of serving the Lord. And then the Lord what manifests himself to us. Amen. He manifests ourselves to us. He gives us strength that sometimes we don't even know that we have it. And that's why we, I, I, I've learned to define that in my life, and my revelation is that you got to go through something. Amen. And when you're going through something, you really find out what you're made of. Amen. Amen, yes. What you're made of. I mean, what you're made of, rather. Amen. If you got the guts to keep going, like we say, you know what, you find out. Uh, really who you are in Christ. Amen. But also you find out the miracles that God has done. That's why I always reflect to my past to, bring, to keep bringing me into my future and thanking all the miracles that he's already done in my life. And he's done so many. Amen. And, and I'm just grateful for that. Amen. Yes. And he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So if he never, how could we leave him or forsake him even for a minute? Amen? Even for a second. I want everything that God has for me. I love the Lord. Amen? I love serving the Lord. I love sharing the gospel. I love sharing with you tonight. Amen? And no matter where I'm at, no matter who's here, who's not, I'm going to stand and I'm going to continue to be faithful and to walk in the path that he has ordered in my life. Amen. Yes. And I'm just trying to be what? All I am is what? A witness. Amen. A witness of who God is in my life. And how do we see Jesus today manifest? Amen. Through you and through me, my, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes. As we live our daily lives, what comes out of our mouth, how we live, what we say, what are our interests, and how we stand firm. Amen. In the things of God. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But we all know that, but I'm going to share it. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a what? A chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and what? A holy nation. Amen. Amen. A peculiar people. Amen. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. When I start reading that verse and I remind myself that I am a raw priesthood because if Christ is in me, amen, and he is what? The prince of peace, amen. And then we have God that's our what? Our Father, our Heavenly Father, God, amen. just saying the word God, amen. And then the greatest gift is the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, Amen. thank you, Lord. Those three things alone gives me power. Amen. And sometimes we forget that. My sister, man, my brother out there, man, you know that you have an intimate relationship with God and that he will continue to grow within you as you allow him to grow. And the Bible, the word of God is our sword. Amen. For all the things that uh, try to hinder our lives while we're here on the earth. But as we remember this and we worship and we praise Him, we usher the presence of God, the glory of God, the holy cloud, amen, as the Bible says, and that will follow us all the days of our lives yes. until eternity because our steps have been already ordered Lord, by God. Amen, yes. amen. For God, for the church to ever come and this is for my brothers and sisters, which we are the church, amen, into a place of power. God wants, God wants what we, and I'm going to give you uh, four things that we must do, amen. It says what? Pray, amen, for more what? Anointing. 
I'm going to say that again. If you want, write that down. Pray for more anointing. Amen. What is anointing? That's more of him, less of us. That's what that means. You can define it in many other ways, but I defined it as that. The anointing is to have more of God, more of Jesus, more of the Holy Spirit continue to flow within us. More yes. anointing, prayer, a dialogue that's speaking directly to God and being bold to believe and to stand and be quick to listen what God has to say. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because God is the one that's not alive. But we got to be sincere. we got to be real with God. Excuse the mic. Amen. Amen. we got to be real with God. Amen. We cannot fake it, my brothers and sisters. we got to walk in truth and in integrity. And again, pray, pray for more anointing. Amen. Yes. Number two, it is time that we give the Lord, the Lord completely control over our lives. And ask him to live through us. Again. Amen. Number two. It is time. Right now. Amen. For the Bible says. And I was sharing it on Sunday. Out of the complete Jewish Bible. That he's looking for those that are going to worship him. Right now. Indeed. Right now. Because these are the people that he is looking for. For those that are going to worship him. In spirit. And in truth. And truth. Amen. Amen. Yes. In spirit and in truth. And I said, I'm going to walk in the spirit. I'm going to be truthful to myself. I'm going to be truthful to God. Amen. Yes. It is time that we give, again, number two, it is time that we give the Lord complete control over our lives and ask Him to live through us. And how do we do that, my brothers and sisters? Right here. When I don't know what to do, a situation comes, I look for a verse, I mark it down. And I say, okay, Lord, uh, in you I trust. You are my fortress. You are my strong tower. Amen. You see? And I start reminding myself, and I remind myself of who's in me and what's in me. You see? Because I start renewing my mind. And then I come into here, and I start searching the scriptures, and it tells me exactly what I need to do. Yes. And then God will speak to me. Because I get bold enough to say, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's why sometimes we just got to stop. Amen. We just got to stop and go before the Lord. Amen. Yes, amen. When we don't know what to do. That's what I tell everybody. I mean, when you don't know what to do, just don't even say anything anymore. Just keep this cold. Just get on your knees and get into your closet, whatever you want to call it. Just get to a point and you just come to God and be real. Amen. And truthful. Because God cannot be with the unrighteous. I'm going to tell you that right now. God cannot be with the unrighteous. And make sure that you're able to discern if it's God or somebody else speaking. Amen. Yes, amen. Number three, we need the power, most of all, of what? The Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. Number three, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. And number four, we need to love. Amen. And to forgive. Amen. Number four. We need to love and forgive. And regardless of what things happen, you know, that's just to me, I always said this and I'm going to continue to say, uh, sometimes, you know, things happen and you don't understand why. You just got to keep moving forward. Amen. You just got to keep moving forward. But also, we got to keep loving and, and forgiving. Amen. And, you know, like I'm always saying, when you do something wrong and you know, and especially when you have a relationship with the Lord, amen. And, and, in, and even in the natural, let me say this, I've said it before, even in the natural, your conscience will kill you. Amen? Because you remember, you know, you did something wrong. Or, you know, you, you, you know you got to go back one day, you got to face that wrong. Amen? You got to get it right, so to speak. Get it right. Amen? Because until you do, then when you do, you separate yourself from the glory of God. Amen. That's why the, the Bible teaches us on not having bitterness, being gentle with one another, loving one another, having the good Samaritan spirit with everyone. Yes. Amen. And sharing the love. That's what God is about. Love, power. And that's it because he'll give us power to do that. To give forgiveness. But sometimes we get, we allow the enemy to put bitterness and heart in our hearts and our minds that we get so, you know, uh, 
but down the road, we know that there's something inside of us that ain't right, that we didn't do right. That's, I mean, that, I'm just being simple. Amen? Uh, in layman's term, we know, and your conscience will keep reminding you. Amen? Yes, amen. It will remind you. And then maybe you did with someone, and then you don't see them, and then when you see them, it just comes right up. Amen? It comes right up. And God will put you in situations where you've got to face the, these things in our lives that are up to me when I keep saying that. When we keep these things in us, amen, hold on a second. I got my props in. When we, when we keep these things in us and we don't, and, 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 and we stay, we become what? Back in chains. We're, we're bound. Amen. We're bound again. Because, see, we haven't let it go. And if we're bound, See, God is waiting for you to get it right. Amen? Yes. He's waiting for me to get it right. You see what I'm saying? So we got to love and forgive. And once we do that, then these will come off. You see? Then these will come off. Amen. You see? And this is what the enemy is always trying to put on us. Amen? It's to keep us bound by situations. Amen? And we have to, I'm, I'm, I'm being sincere with everybody, it's, and this is true, amen, and uh, you can say amen with me, you can't yes. say, say hallelujah right there on, on, <laughs> on, 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 on our comments, amen. Again, we need to love and to forgive, amen, those are the greatest things, yes. amen. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. If a man says, I love God and hates his brother, he's what? He's a liar. Amen. I mean, if that ain't direct, 1 John chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. And I'm reading out of the King James Version. If a man says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. Amen. Amen. That's what the word says, my brothers and sisters. And I come again to enlighten you, not to push anyone down. I'm always one to encourage and to bring you the word that brings truth, to take you out of that bondage, out of those things that have been holding you back. Amen. Because you know what? I've been there too. Amen. And I had to learn to forgive and learn how to love. Amen. And as I did that, I'm in the will of God. Amen. And if I'm in the will of God, then what happens? Simply, he gives me the desires of my heart. But not only that, I didn't do it for that, just that reason alone. Because what, I wanted to be free. I didn't want drama. Everybody's so much drama. I don't like drama, man. I don't want no drama in my life. Amen. I don't think anybody does. You know, you hear the same stories and, you, and it's sad because you see individuals that God put in your path. And I believe this strongly, that every person that God has put in my path, that's my ministry. I'm going to encourage them and everything, but if they don't want to receive it, then that's on them. But you know what? We're able to discern those spirits because those are one of the nine gifts that God's given us as we continue to have an intimate relationship with Him and we grow year after year, but we know that what God has given us with the truth that God has given us, the joy, the love, the peace, is to give out. Amen. Not to hold it to ourselves, but to give out. Or just my family, I know, is to give out. Amen. Yes. And forgive, because I ain't going to let that glory cloud that's over me, amen, or the shadows of these wings behind me stop coming around me. Amen. Because that will stop. Amen. Because you're putting a head between you and the glory of God. Of God's purpose, of God's love. Amen. Again, a man says, I love God and hates his brother. My brother, you're a liar. My sister, you're a liar. I hate to say it, that's what the Bible says. Benny, I will be a liar. Amen. If I hate anybody. Amen. Christian anatomy is not a religion of a doctrine. Amen. But a religion of of right relationship. Amen. Being a Christian is not just a religion of doctrine. Amen. Because anybody can know the word of God and read the word and, and preach the word of God and share the word with others. I'm straightforward. And share the word of God with them. And they sound good and they might be able to stir your 
a, a spirit there for a minute, but you know what? If it's not in them, it will manifest. Amen. See, because it's not just speaking the word, it's living the word within your life. Amen. And in your family. That's why if you go through the Bible, you go to First Timothy, Second Timothy, you find out a lot of things about uh, uh, being a disciple of Christ and how your family has to come in in order with that also. So there's a lot of things in here that we uh, can get knowledge and understanding of God's heart and God's mindset and Jesus. Because these words in here are printed to help me and you. It's our, 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 our diagram, but also today what we call that uh, GPS. Amen. It's also the GPS, I call it now, uh, that, you know what, that helps us to control. Just like when we go to our phones, Google, or YouTube, you want to know about something, amen. And, and you know, but you want to know about life and how to live life and have an abundant life and have joy in your life and how to bring up your children, how to be faithful, amen, uh, to one another, to love people, to show love and kindness, to have a heart like God has is in His Word, amen. As we apply these words that are so powerful into our lives, amen, and trust these words and apply them, amen, every day, we'll walk, then the glory of God is in us because there's a peace and the joy that comes and, and no matter what circumstances that we're facing at the time, we'll be able to walk through them. Amen. And that's the truth. Amen. That's why, you see, I always write, study. I love to write and study to remind myself, amen, of who God is and how good God is and His instruction and what He expects me to do and what He expects you to do, my sister, my brother. Amen. Psalms 145, verse 13. Read that for me, Natasha. Psalms 145, verse 13. Amen. And I say this sincerely again, so my brothers and sisters, I know, man, we're going through something. Never forget who you are. See yourself as Jesus sees you. Or see Jesus in yourself. That's my message. See Jesus in yourself. See the power that's implanted within you as you continue to be faithful and truthful to God. And it's never too late because if you fall down, I tell people, what do you do? You get back up, you dust off, and you come to the Father. His hands are always extended. And that's what we're to do with each other. Always have our arms extended. Amen. And God will give you those individuals. They're going to test you. And that's okay. That's part of life. And we do that in the natural and in the spiritual realm. Amen. Amen. You just got to know how to handle it. And, I believe, and I'm telling you, as you got this man, he protects you. He's my shield. He's my fortress. He's my strong tower. So he uh, uh, has taken uh, situations and drama out of our lives without me having even to, to say anything. Amen. Because you know what? The anointing that's in us, the more of God is in me, that anointing, amen, it just takes them out. Amen. No, because he said no weapon formed against you, what? Shall prosper. Amen. No bad tongues, nobody talking about, it's going to prosper. Amen. Because it's how we live our lives. And we're not just to talk the, the talk, we're to walk it and live it every day. Amen. Knowing the most important thing that keeps me going, and I, not to say I'm perfect, I'm still trying my best, is that getting more of him and getting more new revelation, new insights, new anointing, amen, every day in my life of who God is and my, and my relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. You have it, Psalms 145, verse 13. And it says, Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Yes, it is. Your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all He promises mm -hmm. and faithful in all He does. Amen. Your kingdom is what? Everlasting. Amen. Amen. And you have what? Again, come on, read it again one more time. That's something. Say it on the mic. Amen. I like to hear with the mic. <laughs> your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Yes. And your dominion endures through all generations. Yes. The Lord is trustworthy in oh. all he promises. Yes, he is. And faithful in all he does. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen. Again, amen. remember, a Christian is not just a religion or a doctrine, but 
a, 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 a religion of what? A right. I'm going to say that again. A right relationship. Yes. With God. Amen. That's why I tell everybody, even then, you know, God loves us so much, and I say this all the time, I'm going to say it again because I love saying it. <laughs> that even when we just take the time that we have the Lord's Supper, mm -hmm. amen, I mean, I, I believe we planted that also, not only to remember Him, but give us another opportunity to examine ourselves where we're at and just get washed again in the blood of the man. It's a reminder of his body that was broken for you, my brother, my sister, amen, and the blood that was shed for you, my sister, my brother, and for me, amen, and that has washed away all our sin. It continues to wash away us. So when we fall down and we acknowledge that and not do it again, see, that's the thing, not do it again, and, 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 and being uh, with the spirit of not trying to... Uh, dominate anyone because we're not here to hate people without we're here to hate the devil and battle the evil spirit amen. that is overtaken amen but when we start uh preferring our brothers and sisters even our neighbors as the bible says before ourselves we're in god's will amen and god's heart because if we learn to do that more love one another, encourage one another, worry about your neighbor, worry about this one. What happens is they'll start doing the same to somebody else and somebody else. And to me, it's that simple. That's God's love. Amen. He says, the more you love, the more you give, the more you share out. Amen. I'm going to bless you. Amen. I'm going to continue to bless Amen. you. Yes. But I want you the blessings that I put into your life to bless others. And we come with that mindset and we walk in truth and in righteousness, then God is with us. Amen. I hope that helped you tonight. I just wanted to give you a little taste of what I was sharing. Amen. And I'm just thankful tonight that I could come here regardless of what's going on and pray and, and, and weep with those that are weeping right now with uh, knowing that I just lost Danny Bonilla and so many friends and um, relatives and brothers and fathers and sisters and brothers that have died with this coronavirus, man, we're in a serious time, and all the fires that are happening here and there, and all these things that are going on, is to, you know, to, to remind us how much we need God, how much more we need love and to serve, with all the negativities and lies, and all the things that we hear that are up in the air, it's up to us, my brothers and sisters, to stand in the truth, amen, and to walk in the truth and speak the truth to others and love people, amen, again, love people, encourage people, man, that's our plan here, that's what we're going to continue to do, and as we do that, then we're walking in line with God's word, we're walking in line with God's will for your life and my life, I mean, we could have fancy churches and have all the, the knick-knack, but you know what? And that's just things, amen. It's having that true relationship with God that your life should dictate that everywhere you go. It should it should overflow out of us, amen, regardless of, of what's happening in the world today, that people get drawn to you, amen, because they know that you're in right standing with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, not just by word, but by your actions, how you live your life. It's so important. Remember that we are the witnesses of Christ. We are the testimonies that we share of all the good things that he's done in our lives. Oh, Father. And I just wanted to think to remind you. I just come to stir your spirit, to tune your ears, to remind you. And just, you know what? It's so simple. No matter where you're at, just, just open up your heart to the Lord again. And say, wash me, cleanse me. I do it every day. Amen. And I examine myself. And if I said something or done something, and someone might feel something negative, I pray for them. But I also uh, ask God to forgive me of any anything that I've done or anyone that I've offended in any way. Because that was not our intentions. And when we start thinking on those things and watching what comes out of our mouth and our thoughts, amen, because the enemy, again, can't touch this once you have an intimate relationship with God. But he's going to definitely try to confuse this, your mind. And it, that's why we must put the helmet of salvation all the time. We must put on the full armor of God. Not our armor. God's armor. The full armor of God. And remember that we have the shield of faith and the sword, which is the word of God, to battle these things. 
And this is what I'm trying to say. And, I, and I'm not just sharing this to you. I'm sharing it also to myself. And we're reminding myself, amen, that I, my, my steps are ordered. And that if he dwells in me, the Father, the Son, the Holy I got to walk. And this is a temple, amen. And I'm a witness and, a, and, 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 a test, and I'm going to say my testimony of what God has done in my life. And whatever gift that God has given me, I'm going to share. And God has put me in this position, has anointed me uh, through my life to be here today, to be able to share with you and those that I have met. I'm going to continue to stand on that. So I pray that God has blessed you, continue to bless you. And, and just I come again to stir your spirit to tune your ears. Amen. Yes. Also, I just want to share on, the, on Saturday, uh, it's, uh, between, I, I believe it's 6 o'clock, on down to seven over at US one, amen. Uh, uh, Redeeming Love. Redeem Love Church, amen. Redeem where I ministered about two Sundays ago, I went and I had the opportunity to go there and, 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 and minister there with Pastor Jackson, amen. And he's coming, they're going to be out, uh, they, they're coming out in front of their church, amen. I don't know the correct address, you know, they have. Anyway, it's right here of US 1 between, oh Lord, just before Fort Pitt. What's that street up there? Rick, Rick, I can't even remember the name. Amen. But for those that are out there, you can email me at, at lovewingsministry at gmail.com and I'll send you the, the address. But we're gonna, they're going to be out there worshiping and praising. I'll be there. Amen. About 7 o'clock, we're going to be there. We're going to spend some time. Of worshiping and sharing testimonies and I mean that's what I'm going for and we're just going to sing unto the Lord and worship praises unto God and coming together and if you're sick don't come amen and if you do come please wear your mask <laughs> amen we want to do things in order we want to affect anybody and I don't want to get affected amen I want to stay <laughs> amen we got to be uh, our brother's keepers as the Bible says and let's do things orderly and in contact. If not, don't even worry about it because I'm going to do it live anyway while we're there. We're going to set up and we're going to do it live also. So again, I hope that I encourage you tonight. Amen. And I just want to pray right now before I end this uh, Wednesday night service. Father, I come before you, Lord. Father, I pray that every word that you've given me to share today, my God, Lord, has went through these cameras, have touched my brothers on YouTube, on Periscope, and on Facebook, Father, that, uh, that I come to one reason, to encourage and to build up, Father. You know where they're at. They know where they're at, Father. But I pray peace right now. I pray that you set your angels all around about them, Lord. Father, where they're going through uh, a sad time right now, whether they lost a loved one to this coronavirus or a one, or, or they have a loved one inc incarcerated or maybe someone's in the hospital for whatever other reason, my God, Lord, uh, and, and maybe those that have just, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 have fallen short, my God, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, that you give them peace and strength and Father, Lord, that they will lift themselves up, my God, Lord, and open up their hearts to you and remember that you love them and that you care for each one of them, but you just want them to get things right in their lives, Lord, and to submit to doing things in order, my God, Lord, and which is your will, Lord, to love, to care for one another and to encourage. I bind all this hate in the name of Jesus that has been surrounding us through the the social media and this election and all the things that are happening, I bind those things in the name of Jesus. Amen. And loose them here on earth, Lord. Father, Lord, let there come a spirit as we're trying to do, Father, bringing people together in unity and love and peace that we don't uh, 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 separate uh, one, one, one generation from another generation, but bringing all generations together, my God, Lord. Whatever age, whatever color, whatever language, whatever coming together in love, even as your word says and your will has always been that we're to love one another, to encourage and to build up, never to backstab or say negative things or hurt individuals, amen, but love people, to encourage. We fight against principalities and those evil things that are in the heads and lies and all these spirits that come. Father, we bind them 
in the name of Jesus, and we loose them here on earth, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. I'll see you Saturday. Amen. And I'll also, I uh, will be doing the outreach, but I might be here there doing the day, doing the spirit energy on Saturday. Amen. And then uh, also, uh, don't forget, you can see us also on Sunday that we have our Sunday service here at Love Wings Ministry Studio. So from Benny, uh, Pastor Benny and Pastor Natasha Ramos and all of us here at Love Wings family, we say we love you at uh, Love Wings Ministry Studio. We say that uh, we rejoice with Full Gospel Tabernacle on the 61 year anniversary service where we were taught and came out of that church. We thank you, Pastor Carlos, and all those that still are connected with us as we're just an extension of you guys, and we love you. And we just pray blessings upon everyone tonight. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. 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 amen.